So Celtic are back in action this weekend as they take on Motherwell at 3 o'clock after the international window comes to a close. After this ad break, I'm going to be looking forward to that game. This video and all the videos across the YouTube channel are brought to you in association with the One Football app. The One Football app is your one stop shop for all your football goodness. You can get your results, your scores, your lineups, your transfer news, your stats, anything that you want on any team in any league is available in the One Football app now. And in addition to all their great features, you can even stream one live Saturday game each week from the Serie A and you can get all your highlights from the Serie A in the One Football app. This weekend, they're going to be live streaming in Pauli against Milan on their app on Saturday. So if you want to get that and you want to get the rest of the great features with the One Football app and support the channel as well, then download the One Football app now using the link in the description below. So we're finally back. We are finally back after what has felt like the longest international window of all time. Two weeks away from club football is not healthy for any supporter at all. And Celtic returned to action with a home match against Motherwell at 3 o'clock on Saturday. I'm buzzing to be back. There's been a lot of sort of niggly knocks, a lot of uh, sort of worrying times for Celtic over the international window, but I still think Celtic are in a pretty decent position going into this game. They're still top of the league. They stumble against St. Mirren, but this is the redemption game, essentially going in uh, to this Motherwell game and then hoping to build on that confidence ahead of the absolutely crucial Champions League game away to RB Leipzig next Wednesday as well. So it's a nice little buffer between this game and between the Champions League game, but it is vital that Celtic get a win against Motherwell, not only for the league, but also for the confidence then that they will be bringing in to that Champions League game on Wednesday night against RB Leipzig. Now, this is the first preview of the year because, as you know, I've been away for the last four or five months. But now that I actually have a studio set up with a mic and a camera and lights and all this crack, I'm going to hope to do more previews as we go along this season. So I've come up with a format that hopefully won't be too boring and won't be too straightforward in terms of the sort of uh, general previews that you get ahead of these games from the whole host of uh, Celtic fan media. I'm going to go with three predictions for the game. The first prediction will be for the lineup. The second prediction will be for the result, and I'm going to go for a scored result as well. And the third one will be who's going to get the goals. So I'm putting my ass on the line in these videos. I could end up looking pretty stupid by the end of them. But, I mean, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for this entertainment. So without further ado, let's get into section one of this preview for Celtic against Motherwell, the lineup. The lineup is going to be pretty difficult to predict for this week because there are a couple of players that are doubts. There's a couple of players that we don't know how fit they are. After the international window, a couple of players have been away and picked up knocks. The first worry for this is Cameron Carter-Vickers. He picked up a knock and he is a doubt ahead of this game. He's a worrying player to be a doubt ahead of this game, but more importantly ahead of the, the RB Leipzig game. Celtic have conceded four goals in the league so far this season and three of them have come when Cameron Carter-Vickers has not been playing. He is Celtic's key man in the defence. If you think of the way that Celtic line up, Joe Hart and Nets, Cameron Carter-Vickers, Cal McGregor, Kyogo. That's Celtic's spine. And if you take one of those players out, Celtic are significantly weaker. Cameron Carter-Vickers is a vital player. And if he misses this game, then I'll be a little bit more worried about Celtic's starting lineup. Haksabanovic also picked up a knock. He is a doubt for this game. I'm not sure he would have been starting anyway, but it would have been nice to see him pick up a couple of games, get that fitness up, because he looks like a real player uh, from what we've seen of him off the bench so far this season for Celtic, and also the game that he started um, for the first 45 minutes. I thought he was electric, and he just looks like a sort of a Yoda player who's going to be able to do things when nothing is happening in the game, make something happen out of nothing. And I think he's going to be really exciting once he gets to the stage where he's fit enough. If you think back to last season where Jack Amakis took up until about Christmas time and then just absolutely took off once he got fit, I think we could see something similar with Haksivanovic down the road. 
And Giacomakis is also a player who's a doubt for this game. He picked up a knock. The Greece manager all but ruled him out for this game. So I'm not sure he would have been starting anyway, but it is uh, disappointing that we won't have him on the bench as an option to take take onto the pitch because he's an absolutely deadly player. And uh, Dizan Maida is also a injury doubt for this game because he also picked up a knock on international i think that's pretty much it there might be a couple other players that may not be completely fully fit for this game but that seems to be the headline players that are going to miss out so my starting lineup for this game is obviously joe hart and goals juranovic at right back greg taylor who was unfortunately exceptional against ireland in the nations league at left back and then you've got i'm going to say jens and welsh as the center backs because i'm not clear on whether Starfelt is going to be fully fit on this game Celtic do a really good job at being a, a tight house this season so it's really hard to tell and Ange actually um, he alluded to this in one of the interviews that he did over the course of the international break that he likes to keep people guessing he doesn't like people knowing when players are going to be fully back and uh, Starfelt is one of those players that we don't know is confirmed whether he's fully fit so more Jens and Welsh will be the centre back pairing in my opinion for this game i think the midfield is going to revert back to what it would be prior to the uh, st Mering loss i think cal mcgregor is going to come in as the number six at the base with matt o'reilly who got a goal for the under 21s for denmark over the international break and uh, with hatati being that third man in midfield i think that's celtic's best midfield with Aaron moy coming off the bench to make some impact I think Hitate's pace, the way he's able to to speed the game up with his lateral passing, uh, he's able to spray the ball a lot better than some of the midfielders uh, that don't, you know, that he's fighting for a place with. I think he's really good and he's going to be a really important player for Celtic over the course of the season. And I think the best three for Celtic in midfield is Hitate, Matt O'Reilly and Cal McGregor. That's going to be the midfield three for me. And then up front, Maida's injury actually makes it a little bit easier for Ange to make the decision on this. I think it's the front three of Jota on the left with Kyogo in the middle and uh, Abada on the right-hand side who dropped down to the Israel under-21s once again uh, to the detriment of Ireland over the course of the international break. So I think that's a fairly strong starting eleven for Celtic and it will be able to get a result against Motherwell. So in terms of the results in these videos, I'm going to give you the score that I think it's going to be. Now, predicting scores a couple of days out or a day out, before you see the starting lineup, they're a dangerous thing because, I mean, I'm purely guessing on the form of the team, on what team it's going to be, on what team Motherwell play, what style of play Motherwell play. So I could be wrong. But giving all the circumstances that's going on with Celtic starting lineup, I still think Celtic are going to be strong enough to put this Motherwell side away fairly comprehensively, especially since it's a game at Celtic Park. My prediction for this game is 3-1. I think Celtic are going to dominate the play for large majorities, but I do think Motherwell might score given the circumstances with Cameron Carter-Vickers. If Cameron Carter-Vickers starts, then it's probably going to be a 3-0 prediction for me. But if Cameron Carter-Vickers is not starting for Celtic, if it is that centre-back pairing of uh, Jens and Welsh, or even Starfeld and Welsh, I think Celtic are a little bit more vulnerable, actually a lot more vulnerable in defence than they would be with Cameron Carter-Vickers starting. So if he starts, it's a 3-0 prediction for me. If he doesn't, it's a 3-1 prediction. So who's going to get the goals in this 3-1 or 3-0 victory for Celtic? I do fancy Jota in these games. Like I said, he's he's got that ability to create something out of nothing, especially if Motherwell go compact in the way that St. Mirren did. I think Jota is the player who's going to be able to open up those sort of defences. I think Kyogo is going to get a goal. And I do fancy Hatate as well going into this game. He has something to prove in the midfield. Ange likes to keep things uh, moving along, rotation, and likes to see these players fight for their places. And I generally think he's fair in terms of the players who uh, play well generally get into the team then. So I think Hatate has something to prove coming back into the midfield. He has to fight for a spot. He has to prove that he is the best player to play in that position. So I fancy him to get a goal from maybe outside the box in this game with Jota getting another one and Kyogo. So that is my prediction for this week's game against Motherwell on Saturday at 3 o'clock. What do you think? 
let me know in the comments below all your thoughts on the game and your predictions for this one on Saturday at 3 o'clock. We will have a huddle breakdown to look back on this game and hopefully we'll be looking forward to the RB Leipzig game as well on Wednesday. If you want to get all the content, the huddle breakdown, these videos, these previews, uh, you need to subscribe to the channel. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do drop a subscribe by hitting the button below and like the video as well so more people can see them. Get involved in all the comments as well. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll chat to you later. Good luck.